All right, so Aloy can dodge three times before stumbling. Yeah, and we haven't unlocked the evader skills just yet on this armor set. So that's what we kind of have to be careful about. Um, now this is a known campfire? That's weird. This is unknown though, but that that's fine. Well, I want, you know, it'd be nice to have all 100% of the, fire, the, uh, the fast travel points in the world. There's plenty in this area that we've already explored. This thing? Maybe just marks the entrance of an area? Oh, it's an Apex Sky Drifter. Scary. Get your ass back here! Yeah! Kick his ass! Are we even getting near the camp? I mean, kind of. This is just like a random ass encounter. I guess I was bound to be seen. Oh shit. I guess I got led into an ambush. The interesting part is that they're fucking level 25. What the hell? Clunkily swap our Valor uh, power shot. Eh, you know, nah, we're fine. We don't need that. I'm fucking aiming at your head. Please, thank you. I hate that. It's on your head, and it's like, ah, oh, what if we just, ah, uh, hit your chest instead? I get it. They're far away. You know, maybe it's bullet drop or arrow drop. Maybe the wind knocked my arrow around. Oh. What the fuck do you mean that one missed? <sighs> All right, you know, a little a little bit of a taste of what's to come. How many arrows do I make now? 15. Oh yeah. There's so many rebels out here. Holy shit. I can turn the tables. Oh, apparently they didn't know about me. Yeah, they're your lands? Well, you can bleed on them.
Hey there, little charger. Shh. Nothing's happening. Rest well. They'd heard I'd find them here. Getting rid of their leader might cause the rest to leave. It's so cute that you think that, Aloy. We're scaring a big gun. Yeah, but they don't expect someone to fucking climb the mountain behind them like this. Alright. Oh, that's bullshit. Please get the headshot. Ouch. This one's got some of those tags I keep finding. Your leader is dead. Aloy's supposed, you know, Aloy's like, oh yeah, that's okay. Leave the rest of them. But I'm not. Let's do this. Charge! Oh shit! Your aim is true, huh? Mine too. Oh no! Give me the heavy weapon. Who dares? You! Hey, how about an acid bomb, buddy? Ooh. So close. But now you're standing the acid. I'm still in this fight. Coast is clear. Let's hope it stays that way. Let the outpost leader. Soldier tags. Oh shit. What the fuck just happened? Ugh. I guess the Utaru move in, but we just the scream blacked out for a second. It's you know, the, the game keeps doing that. I'm, Fairly certain it's just one of those things that's uh, a my PlayStation 5 kind of thing. Scary. Ooh. Okay. Restocking. I think it's one of the smallest uh, rebel camps that we've had so far. That works. We'll check this out and then. And you're making right north. We don't need to go to River Him immediately. We can do this uh, relic ruin and then head to the hunting grounds to learn some new types of skills. All right. I'm curious to see what's uh, around the corner over here. My senses tell me. Fire gleam. Fire it's it's just it just seems to be fire gleam or vine paths over and over and over again. Oh, it's a Vista Point Tower, actually. Ah. An image of the old world. Huh. Kinda looks like plain song. And some kind of metal structure. Oh where the fuck is plain song? Plain songs that way.
I'm going to say some kind of metal structure. Oh. The windmills. That HM lookout seems promising. I could try to line up the image from there. Yeah, we just gotta be a little careful of uh that guy. What's in that guy? Is that an apex? Oh, it is. What's a weak against? Frost. Well, I don't have frost, so half corrosive. He just came down here to kick my ass and then left. Ouch. This is annoying. I want those tails. Show me the tail. Or I'll just have to headshot you over and over and over again. I think we'll do that, actually. Hello, perfect opportunity. There we go. Ew, wow. Oh, that wasn't a critical strike. Ah, oh, fuck. That sucks. Ooh, electricity on your back, huh? Finally. Oh my lord. Why? <laughs> I didn't realize I was fucking just climbing the mountain. Okay. It was like we went through the reload animation, but it didn't matter. Let's see if this is an actual path into the facility. Because while I could climb like a caveman, sometimes I like to respect paths. Although I went the wrong way, so it doesn't matter. Um I'm pretty sure I'm close. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're gonna be like over here. Maybe from here? What do we got here? Lost Treasures of the Indian Ocean. Indian Ocean, August 4th, 2051. Below the skids of our vert stretches, nothing but open, featureless water. This area of the sea was once home to 200 islands. Rich with sea life, they were a playground of the famous and wealthy. Seconds after we drop a submersible drone, holographic water images fill the vert's main cabin. From the drone's perspective, we see all that has been lost to the waves. Drowned concrete resorts bordered by white bleach structures. The remnants of the once colorful, vibrant living reefs that brought tourists to the Maldives. Here and there, we can see life still clinging on, but with rising seas, acidity increases, and the loss of the currents that once brought nutrition to these mid ocean rocks, this haven of life has dwindled to a shadow of what it once was. Are these lost treasures of the Pacific gone forever? Isha Lagari of the Trans Indian Aquatic Development Center doesn't think so. 
As she sees it, the first step in bringing life back to the reefs is to envision what they once were. Hence the images I see before me now. Near barren underwater rock, suddenly bursting with a rainbow of holographic plants and animals. As a brilliant orange clown fish swims past my nose, she describes her project as both a window into the past and guide to the future. She hopes that with time, effort, and new advances in cloning and transplanting, perhaps one day, both here and in oceans around the world, life can... Life will flourish, don't worry. One day. So we tried up here. Not too hard. Is that the trick? Maybe there used to be one... Like this? Aha! Uh -huh. There we go. What was this? It very quickly got rid of the data point. I gotta go hunt for it. Vista! Nope. Well, I guess we can just take in the, the image. The place used to look neat. Well, with this Vista point captured. Let us head to another relic point. I wish there were more ways to pass time in this game. To like make a day. Nighttime! Nighttime brings some pretty nice images depending on where you are. But I do prefer exploring in the daytime. Oh! This is a random thing. I'm hoping at some point we get green shine on the map, but I don't think it's gonna happen. I've just got one of those distinct feelings, and it's weird, because I know that there's 84 pieces of green shine on the map, as we look that up. And there's a finite amount, which is sad, but I guess somewhat understandable. But at the same time... It's like one of the only resources in the game that you That's can't, like, my stash has room. really find. That's yeah, one of the only resources in the game that isn't, like, marked. If I want to find a Thunderjaw, fucking, I can look at the map. We know of at least two Thunderjaw locations. We're gonna take down this one. Have we passed by a third Thunderjaw location? Surely we have. Oh, right, 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 right. I think we did over in this region when we were making our way north. Here we go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we didn't approach that one. Oh shit. Leave me alone! I'm trying to explore some birds. Oh shit. What was that? That's... That was a very specific machine sound. Shish fox. I think there's a stalker. Who is that fight? What are they doing? It's under attack by someone. Is it a rebel? No, it's not. Yeah, I guess I can help out. Uh, hi. Ah! 
Got the task. Oh no, they're dead! Oh no, I just assumed that they'd be alive. I came to save them. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it has. It's funny because this, um... The Horizon game does the same thing, I think, as Death Stranding. Where it says that, like, this is basically us crossing over multiple state lines, I'm pretty sure. You know, all the way into, like, like, Las Vegas? California. Yeah, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> I don't think... An old world ruin. Might be the one that Utaru and Plain Song told me about. Ooh, that's how the distance works at all. Supply box. Pretty sure that's gonna be the play. Yeah. Okay. What's in here? Ooh. What even is? Let me get, get an outside look at this structure. I guess it is like maybe a set of stores. We'll find out through the data points. Let's see. Thanks again. Daniel, thanks again for watering my plants while I'm out. Not everyone understands that I don't want to leave them to the bots. Cleaning and resupplying the station are one thing, but like you said, the living should be cared for by the living. I set the entry code to the year the station was built. Owen, please don't leave my dragon plant out in the sun for too long. Aerith. All right. This data might help. The year the station was built. I guess we're going to find some advertisements. Some pamphlets or something. <laughs> I didn't know until I was up here. Assholes. There we go. Using some advanced mechanics. This could be useful. Construction year. Daniel, how long have you been with us again? Knowing the year the facility was built isn't exactly a prerequisite for someone in your position, but have you ever looked at the exterior of the station? It's hard to miss. Take a few minutes right now to familiar, uh, familiarize yourself with the building. It's a historical landmark for a reason. Then go water the plants, please. And is this a key code thing? Looks like this door needs some no, I need a key module. Key module to open. Better search the ruin. All right. I'll go find the information somewhere else. What about over here? I could almost looks like I could climb this. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is a hotel. Ancient oh. Huh. I wonder if it can still move. Yeah. This is what I was missing. Come along with me. Okay. Push it. Ooh. Up. Let me up. Fine, I'll go from the side. There we go. Wonder what a merchant would trade for this. There's some kind of relic in that room. How do I get in there? The long way, Aloy. The long way. Can this go inside? Hmm. Yes, it can. 
There was a fire gleam thing I missed. However, to be fair, I only missed it because we haven't been inside of here yet. And I don't know how to get in there. Alright, doing a thing some things out of sequence here. We need to find a key upgrade module. Or not upgrade module, but a key somewhere, and that will allow us to access that area. But I'm not seeing a key here. Maybe it's a little further away. I mean, this is one sizable ruin, kind of. Oh, uh, hello, you're not what I'm looking for. I didn't mean to do this. Tail. Yeah. What do you mean against electricity? I got that. Oh, I missed. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm in a corner with this thing! Oh. Another one? You're fucking kidding me. Getting there. Hi, how you doing? Uh, how about uh, corrosive blast? No, you're very strong against that. How about uh? uh Adhesive. Is there anything else for me to aim on you? The globe blast canister. Well, I don't have anything with that. There we go. to the tail. Woo! 
That one died pretty fast, actually. Fucking critical strikes and power attacks. I really need to upgrade my melee a lot more. Especially the power attack. We got one, like, immediately for that. Power attack! Fire three arrows if you're currently selected to type in a quick burst. See, this might be something that makes the... The warrior bow more useful. Is there another one? Yeah, fire arrows in a horizontal spread. Energized duration, critical strike damage. Oh, I don't even have one. I thought I had at least one. Oh, shit. Oh, I have the sneak attack critical damage. That's what I... Okay, 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 okay. Whoops. Then there's energy buildup. Ooh, actually... Ah, uh, what do I want more? See, I can do resonator blast plus... Oh, this was a two. Ah, fuck. I thought it was a one. Resonator damage. All the all, all the upgrades. I wish I could slap some coils onto my melee weapon. That'd be nice. Pack your hollow bags. No, seriously, I had pictures of Harriet Choi printed on my absorption pads. Now every time I lose bladder control, she's the one with a sense of doom. <laughs> the, new treatment the new gene treatment, though, is it helping? I'm not scheduled for mine yet. Yeah, it's repaired some of the nerve damage, but who's interested in the really, in really curing doom plague now? This is us, trapped for the rest of our lives. True, but not as trapped as we were, hey? What hollow trip do you want to go on next? That's all I think about. Then tell me, where are you planning on going? Not sure, maybe Wyoming. Wyoming? Yeah. You need to think bigger. You mean like Montana? I mean like anywhere. This is hollow travel. We can go overseas. Overseas? Yes, we can go to Europe or China or the moon. What's there to see on the moon? At least Wyoming still has a few animals. Fair point. Wyoming it is then. Were there, uh... Classic won't make much of a dent. Were hollow trips really effective back then? Oh my god. There's that scary fucking sound again, dude. What was that? It sounds like... I'm being fucking scanned by something, you know? Like a stalker is lurking around the area ready to jump on my head. But nothing's happened so far, so I mean, I guess there's that. Lever! Does this switch to? Can I use this? Oh shit! It looks like this switch controls the tracks. Oh! Tracks are lined up with the curve side now. There. Tracks are straight now. It's not the curved tracks. It's straight tracks again. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, let's pull this over. Now we less along. So they did a wee bit of deception for us here. As far as it goes. Alright, change to the track. Curve tracks. Let's try straight tracks. Okay, tracks are straight. Uh, this visually isn't making sense to me. I'm just trying to like look at this and see how these are actually connected. Because the only thing that's moving is like this. 
little bit right here. It like moves slightly to the left and right and uh, all right. Like I'm not confused at the concept of oh, fucking weird. changing directions on a rail line. It's just visually not matching up with what I think it would look like in real life. But at the same time, I've never fucking stared at a changing rail track. I just thought it'd be a little bit more dramatic. Alright. Is that the key? Ah! A key module. Perfect. That was the trick. The key module was in this place the whole time. There we go. Code! Oh, fuck. needs a code. Maybe something around here can help. Shit. There's only two data points here. Hmm. But maybe there's like a... Something I can read. Somewhere, like... See, this could have been an... Oh! Aw. Guerrilla Games in the hearts. Ukraine. Missing something? Obviously, I am. Mm. The problem is nothing. Is showing up on my scan for this. There's some kind of relic in there. For how to reach it. What the fuck is going on? Oh, here we go. 1623. I was on the right track. I was like, there's gonna be something around here. That says it. Either a data point or an environment thing, but we just missed the... the numbers there. To be fair to myself, it was dark when we got here. Uh, so I think it was 1623... Oh, that's not it. Fuck. <laughs> Nope. Uh. Ah. What? It was 1623. Oh, all right. I get what happened. It's 1923 and it's not a quirky fucking sign. Okay, fair enough. Nineteen twenty-three. It also makes more sense. It's a train station. And I don't think they had trains in sixteen twenty-three. Oh my god! Why did I make that? That'll break my fall. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
Now we blow this up and bring the rail car back inside. These puzzles are really funny to me, internally, and in that, like, this old-ass building literally has only one way for us to access it, and it happens to line up with the future. You know? Like, the degradation, the specific degradation of this building. Are lined up with the curve side now. In this specific rail car, or what allow us to access this one ornament. Whereas I think, and realistically, there would have been like three or five different ways to access this ornament. You know, climb over the building, enter through one of the holes. Fucking cause some explosions or something. But it works out for now. Made it. Another relic. This weekend getaway. When we all agreed to a weekend getaway to celebrate Carlos's big promotion, you know what I imagined? Lounging by the pool under a climate controlled dome, sipping overpriced drinks in fancy cups. Instead, I'm sweating right through my silk shirt trying to find a good spot to stow this orb thing. While Alyssa and Carlos distract the tour guide and Tom and Amir take their thousandth self hollow with the boxcars outside. But you know what? It's totally worth it. Because nobody screws over the golden toucans. Natasha. I'll figure out what to do with it later. These people are out trying to have their own little adventure. Alright. Uh Resonator build up would be nice. That's definitely been one problem that we've had with using the resonator shit. It definitely takes a long time to actually be able to use it. All right, so this is good. We can do half moon slash next and then resonator build up. I do need to get this aerial slash jump off thing too, so I can do the the melee arena back in the Sky Clan place. But we got time, and we, we're 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 going to be doing side missions that'll give us skill points. All right, let's make our way to the hunting ground. Maybe I should take one more look around before I go. See if there's anything else interesting. Huh? In this place? No, it says completed. I'm good. Sorry, uh... Oh, is he gonna lead him to the trap? Cool. All right, boys, I'm here to help you out. The parts I shoot off are mine, you know? Easy. That almost made me wish I could go on collecting hunts with uh, the rest of my companions. That'd be sweet. We just beat up like a Thunderjaw together. Call in Varl, Errand. Boys, I need supplies to upgrade this weapon. Oh, 
Greetings! Speak with me, Outlander. You got it. Actually, first off, we're talking to the hunter. Uh. Ooh. Hold on. Oh, man. This bow is really good. But I don't have the component to buy it anyways, so whatever. Canister Rope Caster. Another one of these. See, the thing is, it sounds weird. Because I get the canister part, leave a fucking canister, blow up the canister. But can I use it like a regular rope caster too? Otherwise, it shouldn't even be called a rope caster. It should just be like a fucking canister launcher or something. All right, I just saw my resources here. Sell. Ooh. Claw Strider Razor Tail sell for 250. And they're easy as hell to get, honestly. That's interesting. Meanwhile, the Wide Maw Tusk, which is way harder, in my opinion, to get. Just because you have to, like, actually sit there and wait for the thing to open its mouth. That's funny. I could make some big bucks from Claw Striders. Anyways, hello. Are these your hunting grounds? They are. Try a challenge, and we'll see if you live up to your reputation. We're going on hunting grounds. Uh, to approach a battle unseen is to retain element of surprise. A sudden attack from the shadows can be just as effective as charging in a battle. All right, this is a stealth trial. Silent looting. Loot supply caches without alerting or damaging any machines. Kill machines using silent strike and strike from above to remain undetected. Use your shield wing to glide undetected over machines and kill them from above. Wow, okay. <laughs> Jump down with the ropes, and we'll begin the trial. I was hoping for something that taught us more about the carver, because God, I need to learn. I can override tracker burrowers now. Don't worry about that. Can I highlight everybody's tracks? No. Only one at a time. Oh shit, he saw me. It's okay. It said to do it without alerting or damaging. He can be slightly alerted. Ooh, he's looking. about your routes. All oh, right, we have a time limit. No running because they can hear me for, for a really huge amount of distance for some reason. Walking might not be so bad. It is. Oh my god. We're definitely not getting the gold mark for this. Fuck. Oh, 
Okay. Well, at least now I know about this. Yeah, we definitely didn't get the gold there. First trial that's ah, not a full you completion. Skills. You earned yourself a prize. I see you live up to the stories, Outlander. Don't degrade me. Oh! Oh, I got the full stripes! <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's a I'm so good. There was no worries to be had at all. <laughs> Use tall grass, smoke drums, and smoke bombs to stay hidden. Yeah, all right. Go down the rope, and I'll start timing the trial. Don't get much use out of shock ammo. Question mark? Well, I failed my trial. Oh, I didn't. Not yet, at least. Hi. Smoke bomb! All right, two machines killed while, you know, doing that. Uh, did I even get hit by that? Excuse me. Smoke bomb! Oops. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't say I can't wail on them in the meanwhile. I just have to not be detected. Big Evil, thank you for the, uh, the tier one solution, by the way. Hopefully you get a good dinner. Oh, I've been hit! Oh, God! I got 30 seconds. Hey, how's it going? Where's your fucking friend? Fuck! I'm not gonna get it! I'm not gonna get it! Whoa! Smoke bomb! Silent strike! No! It's the other one! Damn it! I'm so tilted. Oh, oh, my ears. I'm hiding. Oh my god! Fuck off, dude! Mm 
Thank you. This was really rude. This was a really rude challenge. There's no fucking shot. Oh my god. Uh I mean at least I'm getting these fucking tracking things. Deserves a good prize. Why? I believe this is yours. Woo! Half stripes reward. Yeah, this kind of sucks. So, the only the the only way you can get full stripes is if you when the hunt calls are drastically over leveled for this. It's the only fucking way. Like you would need all the infiltrator skills buffed up. And then you would need like your weapon itself buffed up to do generally more damage. You would need armor to give you stealth damage. Basically every you need everything you can to like make it so you can one shot them. Cause that's it. That's the only thing that makes sense. So this kind of is this challenge ruins my buzz. Let's see what the third challenge is like. Because the first one, I mean, the first one we didn't have to kill anything. But yeah, maybe we won't have to deal with tracking burrowers too much. Jump down with the ropes and we'll begin the trial. Nope, it's tracking burrows. That sucks. What the fuck? And you have one minute to do this? What? Okay. That's not that bad. Maybe striking from above just does drastically more damage. Cause yeah, otherwise, like, if I can one-shot these fucking burrowers, side of the challenge is easy. This is for you. Thank you for the medals. Even if I don't know where to spend them just yet. Oh, we got some skill points too, so that's lovely. When the hunt calls, I'll be here. All right, hold on. I'm, I'm desperate. Can I afford to get Silent Strike 50 plus? We'll see. No, we cannot. Ah, uh, shit. I'll take it, though. The 25% tear damage from stealth. There are a lot of times where I... Start off a battle trying to take off components. All right. Pick your poison. One more attempt. Just slide down a rope to start. I look forward to seeing you compete. Hmm. 
Hmm. Okay. Oh my god! I got fucking sniped out of the sky! So... I just have to assume... Whatever the fuck they shot me with... Means I, I can be spotted from anywhere. You didn't finish your trial. Jump down with the ropes, and we'll begin the trial. Alright. That's the goal. Strike from above. It's a good thing I did that third trial. I was tempted to literally just fucking leave and just come back when we were like way more leveled up. But it really just comes down to, I guess, strike from above does dramatically more damage than regular silent strike, which, you know, makes sense. It's us falling on them with a lot of momentum with our spear. This is for you. Woo! All right. You know where to find me. And we even unlocked to die. On my trials, Hunter? I am not, but I am going to talk to Strike Carver real quick. What do you got? We don't have a Leap Lasher. Can move a long distance, has a weak attack power, a short attack range, possesses the Empower skill. At the start of each turn, all friendly machines with an attack gain plus one attack power. Fuck okay, it, I'll buy it. Something that I can try out. Uh, then we have all of these. I'll buy a. I'll buy a claw strider and a wide maw. Everything else we kind of haven't really been fighting too much, and I might need to. Oh, a sky drifter too. Everything else, I don't know. All right. Outlander, looking to improve your hunting skills? Uh, surprisingly, you guys don't. I don't know why you guys don't have a, a resting thing here. I'd love to change the time of day to day, but we can roam through the nights. So what all did I get? I kind of just threw a bunch of points at Infiltrator. We got. This. So we're slightly more audible. I would like. I'm interested to see what happens when we get the full uh less audible stuff. Let's see, where is that? Here we go. Less audible. And then it can obviously be boosted by outfit and weave. One thing I've got a problem with in this game for stealth is that they've very Yeah, they very dramatically look at this. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Filling up the canisters on their backs. Apex Frost Canister Burrower. Interesting. Well, Tremors, I'm on a rock. You can't fucking get me. Shit.
Uh, hi, fellas. Oh, shit. What was I up here for again? This area? Right. I'm gonna take my leave. This is... This is too much for me. That's interesting, though. I guess this is a cave? Could be a sunken cave. Is a sunken cave. Sunken cave, restless well. Yeah. Nope, still following the same policy. Once, uh, not gonna deal with anything trying to swim into sunken caverns until I can breathe underwater. But I'll explore the shit out of them. All these apex monsters that are like around our level. It's rough. Obviously our level doesn't really matter. I don't think our level affects them how much damage we do to the enemies. Or how much damage they do to us. It's just kind of like an approximation thing to be like, they're pretty dangerous, watch out. But yeah. Who would have thought? Drastically more dangerous burrower. making use of my traps at all. They're probably pretty good, I just... Uh... Uh, what's my ammo situation look like? I can do this. These. And we're good with everything else. What are our pouch needs? We need... Prairie dog hide, prairie dog hide, rabbit, pelican feather, well, that's gonna be on the coast. Vultures we've ran into a little bit, but we don't really use bombs too much. Although, no, we got blast thing, I, I, I do need that. Um... Resource pouch. Definitely want more resource pouch upgrades. I think we've seen rabbits. I think we've seen like one rabbit. And I didn't do anything. Or I didn't get anything from it. Alright, we're just gonna have to, we're, we're gonna have to go on animal hunts. Hardcore. Let's make it daytime though. Progress time. Make it... Morning. Yeah, I like that. I guess the reason they don't want you to do shelter or uh, passing time in a lot of other places is because a lot of other places have like NPCs standing around them or something. Like human NPCs. Sounds like someone's in trouble. Oh shit.
Holy shit. That took so long. Is that person dying? No, okay. I'm sneaky! I'm no longer sneaky. Okay. I'm just gonna ruin my kill like that. Welcome. <laughs> Save those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. You guys did pretty good. You still look up my kills. I want everyone fortifying the pass. He sounds like a veteran. Ah, your warriors seem... Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. It's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja Raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that, they taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utoro who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. Yeah. The Tanakh Rebels suck. But you know, the good news is, they're definitely a little bit more on the retreat. Like, we're probably not going to deal with Regala for a while. Like, what I, pro what I imagine is we'll do the second thing, we'll get Poseidon, uh, and then suddenly we'll get a, a summoning to go back to the Grove or something. And then they'll be like, oh my god, we need help dealing with Regala! And I'll be like, yeah, alright. It's about that time, I suppose. She's the minor villain of the plot. And Far Zenith are like the big villain of the plot, so they'll probably be last. Especially since they have an like, off-coast base. And the coast is way over in this general area. We may speak freely here. Your place even have much? Doesn't seem like it. I feel like our missions for River Him are going to take me up here. <laughs> so, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I sent my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide maws leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Boss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known. Wow. And so is your little disagreement with the chorus. I understand what this place means to your people. But you're outnumbered and under-equipped. You can leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them Winter Song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove, at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands as do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. 
Yeah. I'd scold the Atari for being too sentimental, but like pretty much every single tribe would, would be the same. Like, we've been here for 50 years. We will not leave. I'm sorry about your daughter. The raid took her from me. I found my peace in every Karja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, the seeds are buried. A reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. What exactly do you do around here? I am the metal weaver of River Hem. But all you really need to know about me is that I plan to keep my people alive. Thanks to you, we might actually have a chance at that. What makes the path up to the drum root so dangerous? It's a cave of sunken passages and gaping caverns oh, that boy. only the very skilled can navigate. It serves as a safe haven for my people. But machines have patrolled its deepest passageways ever since the derangement. Even so, River Hem and the Grove live off its waters. We are connected to it as much as we are to the seeds growing behind you. You know Zo? <laughs> I knew the warrior who led the bravest of my tribe against the Karja, but the Zo that came back from the route spends too much time dwelling on things that just had to be done. I'm not one for regrets. <laughs> I, I I can get you on that. But, you know, she just, uh... War trauma affects people in different ways, you know? Tell me more about these metal pods. They are tricky to collect. The wide moths sow them. One must be quick enough to gather them before the soil and water take them. But their metal is among the sturdiest I've ever weaved. Without them, our chances of survival are slim. All right, well, let's get to it. Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. This place feels With those a little empty. And a whole lot of luck. We just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. Maybe that'll I change. So much ground, and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall. The Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. Yeah, maybe once we push away the rebels, the people back here will move up to the front. Maybe we can buy some stuff. Even if it's green. This is it. Do you have any questions? No, I'm good. I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. Hello! I do not trust you. Hello. <sighs> Even if the land gods were on our side. That was that? Oh. Uh. Start finding my way up to the top. Whew. That'll keep me awake. I saw a green shine. Or rather, like, yeah, right there. That. That is just a hole in the fucking geometry. But I thought maybe it was, a uh, like, the start of a green shine fragment or something. Alright. Uh, oh, I'm going over here. He said that... There's a bunch of sunken passages. I'm not looking forward to that. It's been a while before since we've been forced to like swim down through the place. I need to find a way up there. 
I'm assuming the back will take us over. It calls to me. What's down there? What the hell? Good luck to us. God damn. All right. I guess I ended up going kind of the right way anyways. Borrowers. Same ones that killed Vos, probably. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. Critical strike got canceled? Let's find a way up these caves. I want to loot. <laughs> Not refresh stealth area. Tracking sprayer. Yeah, that makes sense. I wonder how it works. Does it let them like see me through walls? Is it just like a like they can send sense me through scent or something? Okay. Does this take me back to the other side? Seems like it. I was gonna have a dead end. Ooh, hello. Oh, wow. I won't even remember this one. What the fuck, game? Ugh. Are you serious? Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, whoever was in charge of the fucking vine placement shit, I, I truly dislike you. What an annoying game mechanic. I would rather be getting these stupid flowers and going like, oh, that's a neat little poem. Rather than going, oh, a 10th location for me to remember in 20 to 30 fucking hours. And for what? I don't even know. Maybe they give like a good reward. Maybe they give, like, skill points or something? I don't know. Haven't been able to get any of them just yet. But they look like the, the flowers from the last game and the last one... I don't remember the four rewards either, but yeah, the last ones... I remember just had a bunch of fucking poems. But you were able to just find them in the world.
So they better get fuck something good, considering how the big delay. It's always gonna bother me. Because again, it's one of those things where it's like, the best way to have played the game would have been to literally ignore all the side missions, do the main story until you have all the equipment to, to explore, and then go back and explore, and then you'd have full access to everything. You would be able to swim without having to worry about drowning. You could open up all the fire gleam places, you could open up all the vine places. We're also, uh, there's that fucking tall neck that I don't know how we're supposed to deal with. Somehow we're supposed to be able to, to do something about that, but I feel like that's going to be a mission thing. We'll see. But who knows, there could be an even another, another component to get. Okay, so somehow I have to get up there to there. Hopefully this flower is marked on the map, because I will just, like, forget it, otherwise. Oh, I can climb over here. Uh, oh, here we go. I was holding the analog stick too far up. Whoop. Another correction change. Oh, holy shit. All right. Anything up here? A little, a little bit of a reward. It's funny because uh, uh, the inventory screens are amusing to me a little bit. When we're looting, because I saw I, I saw a bit of my footage from Horizon Zero Dawn after playing this, and went, "Holy shit!" The the loot screens in the last game took up like made it. Time to find those white moths. Like a good third of the the screen for the most part. Now they just have the little bit of the bottom. It's way more aesthetically pleasing. Same with a lot of things in this game, obviously. They did, they did a really good job on that. While, while the vine thing doesn't make a lick of fucking sense to me. Those pods they're ejecting. They must be the ones Key needs. Looks like I can just pick them up once they fall to the ground. If I'm quiet enough, I can get them without the machines even knowing I'm here. So our problem, we're gonna have to kill these fucking guys on the side. Mm -hmm. 